What's up guys, my name is Shane and in today's video you are going to learn some of the most common kitchen vocabulary and how to say those words like a native speaker. And make sure you watch until the end of the video because there will be a quiz to see how many words you can remember. Are you ready? Let's go. This is a cutting board. Cutting board. I know it's spelt with a T but when we pronounce it, we actually use a D sound. Cutting board, cutting board. And you can also call this a chopping board, chopping board. This is a colander, colander. Three sounds, colander, colander. This is a measuring jug, measuring jug. The S in this word is pronounced the same as in the word television. Television, jen. measuring, measuring, measuring jug. This is a pot, pot. When we say this word, we stop the air with that final T sound. We normally don't say pot, no, we say pot, pot. This is a pan, pan, pan. This is an egg flip, egg flip. With that final P sound, we stop the air from coming out. We don't say flip, p, no, we say flip, flip, egg flip. This is a spatula, spatula, spatula. The T sound is actually pronounced as a CH sound. Spatula, spatula. These are tongs, tongs. When we talk about tongs, we sometimes need to use the word pair. For example, I am holding a pair of tongs. We don't say I am holding a tongs. This is a plate, plate. With that final T sound, we stop the air from coming out. We don't say plate, t. no, we say plate. Plate. This is a bowl. Bowl. B O bowl. This is a glass. Glass. G L A S glass. Glass. This is a cup. Cup. When we say this word, we stop the air with that final P sound. We don't say cup. No, we say cup, cup. This is a fork, fork, fork. This is a knife, knife. The K in this word is silent. That means we don't pronounce it. So when we pronounce this word, it's knife. These are spoons, spoons. Normally, smaller spoons like this are called teaspoons and bigger spoons like this one are called tablespoons. Teaspoon, tablespoon. Did you know there is a word to describe these three things? It's called cutlery, cutlery. So for example, if you go to a restaurant and you don't have a knife, a spoon and a fork, you can say, excuse me, could I have some cutlery please? Cutlery. This is a toaster, toaster, toaster. It's used to make toast. This is a scales, scales, scales. It's used to weigh things. This is a blender, blender, blender. It's used to make things like smoothies and milkshakes. This is a jug, jug. You can also call it a kettle, kettle. It's used to boil water. This is an oven, oven, oven. With that V sound, your throat should vibrate, v oven. These are oven mitts, oven mitts. You put them on your hands to protect your hands when you're cooking, oven mitts. This is a fridge 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 
With that D G sound, it sounds like this. G G. Your throat should vibrate as well. G fridge. This is a stove top. Stove top. Stove top. And with that final P sound, we stop the air from coming out and we just say top. We don't say top. This is a bench top. Bench top. Bench top. Okay, they are all the words for today. Now let's have a little quiz to see how many words you remember. This is a spatula. Spatula. This is an egg flip. Egg flip. This is a measuring jug. Measuring jug. This is a scales. Scales. These are oven mitts. Oven mitts. Oven mitts. The word for these three things together is cutlery. Cutlery. This is a pair of tongs. Tongs.